What's up? What's up, everybody? It's time for another video on the worst channel on all of YouTube. Everything bang. I forgot the <laughs> channel for a second. I was like, which channel is going on? Uh, okay, so anyway, Everything Bagel, that's the channel name. Don't worry, I won't forget it again until the next video. Uh, <laughs> no, forget it before the end of this video. Today we're playing either.io, which is, it's Would You Rather. It basically just brings out the worst in every human being. We get to find out all kinds of horrible things about each other and ourselves. Fantastic, let's get it started. Because it always starts with like, Would you rather murder your grandma or murder, like... To someone else's grandma. I don't know. Sometimes it's that. Whatever. Anyway, let's get it started. What do we have uh, first one? <laughs> it's one of those. Already, if you were a soldier, would you rather kill one innocent person to save 1,000 people or kill 100 enemy soldiers to save one innocent? I f oh my god. Didn't we already answer this in the previous one? Isn't that half of uh, half of the would you rather's on here? We've like, oh, oh, we've already answered. Someone's gotta put out some new ones, man. I wonder if we could sort. We can't sort, can we? From like new. That would be great if we could sort from new stuff. Anyway, excuse me. I feel like yeah, it's very classy here. It's very classy. Uh, kill one hundred. Uh, at least they, you know, they signed up for that, right? It's kind of like the premise of every spy movie or every action movie. Kill a hundred enemy soldiers to save literally one innocent person. And then the innocent person is usually like a pretty girl. Isn't it? It's always a pretty girl. Okay, so I guess we'll... <laughs> I guess I'll just be an action hero. Uh, ooh, one innocent person to save a thousand people. But you it didn't say if those thousand people were, uh, were terrible. Well, actually, wait, 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 wait. Before we get into it, after we... <laughs> After we've we've already gotten into it, we've already answered. Um, enemy soldiers, like, they signed up. They knew what they were getting into, right? One innocent person to save a thousand people. Are a thousand people enemy soldiers? Are a thousand people, like, gonna go out and murder a whole bunch of other people? Like, who's... They, it doesn't give enough context. It really doesn't. Does the innocent person, did they sign up for it? Were they like, I know I'm innocent, but I will sacrifice myself to save these thousand people. There's not enough context! Uh, there's never enough context, right? There's never enough context, because it doesn't give you enough context to actually answer the question. I, I reject this question onto the next one. Would you rather get an atomic wedgie or get a swirly? Atomic wedgie is underwear. How, what specifically is an atomic wedgie? Is it like underwear up to butt crack, because that's a wedgie, and then atomic wedgie, is that where they try, because you can't actually put underwear from the wedgie over your head. But is that they try to do that, right? That's what they try, because atomic, it would break. It would like, it would not go up. Trust me, I try to do it every morning. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't, no I don't, I don't try to do that. Or get a swirly. So fun thing, I don't know why. Maybe it's just, maybe it was just the thing in the South, right? When I was in middle school, it was popular not to have Get swirlies. That wasn't the popular part. It wasn't the popular part. It's like getting your head shoved in the toilet. The popular thing was like to dunk your head in the sink and have like wet head, right? So I feel if if it's a clean, I don't know, man. If it's a clean toilet, it's a clean toilet. It's a wait, wait, wait. It's a fresh toilet right off the right off the press. Is that what? Or is it like a gas station toilet? I'm gonna say no to a gas station toilet. I'm gonna say if it's a Sam's Club display toilet. I'll take a swirly from a Sam's Club display toilet, right? As long as no one's peeing in the display toilet. You know someone's peeing in the display Now I'm thinking, now I, now, now I know. Now I know. Some drunk shopper has, like, peed in the display toilet. I already don't like either. Yeah, I guess we'll do. Man. Again. Again. I'm gonna assume that it's just, like, a high school toilet. Oh, God. Yeah, we well, <laughs> <laughs> just go with that too. If it's a high school toilet, I'm definitely going for the wedgie. I'll take a, I'll take a wedgie. It's not gonna be a clean Sam's Club toilet. Why is that? I, I just assume Sam's Club has like the best toilets, I guess. The cleanest toilets. I don't know. You know, they have displays of things. Weird things that you wouldn't see on display. It's like, hey, it's a, a, a pool, but it's shaped like a turtle. Here's a display for it. Like, why do we need it? Yeah. You can get them in bulk? Oh, really? I'll take three turtle pools. Yeah. Well, uh, it's a pack of three. Yeah, of course. That's why. That's why I'm gonna take a pack of three turtle pools. Anyway, would you rather watch your favorite movie on repeat for a full day? Yeah. Or watch Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist once? I don't know what that is. 
It sounds very hipster. So we're gonna... <laughs> I've already done this. Haven't you guys already done that? Am I the only one that's done that? Like, just watch the same movie over and over again? Because, like, the first time you pay attention to it. And then after that, it's just, like, stuff in the background that you feel comfortable with. Right? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I used to watch Fight Club on repeat uh, when I was in college doing programming stuff. I used to watch... Uh, music still on, right? Yeah. I used to watch Fight Club on repeat. Just have it on the background. Not like watch it. Watch it. Uh, anyway. Would you rather be a police officer or be a f Oh my god, in 2020? <laughs> this is, this is, this is obviously, uh, 2020, this would be, this is like a death sentence if you sign up for that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, this is the very, this question was, 10 years ago, this question was asked. I think it's definitely a different, I would like to see the percentage of how people voted through the years. Because I feel like we cannot even answer it for this one this year. I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway, would you rather be wanted or be needed? Wanted or needed? I feel like I'd rather be wanted because that's a choice. That's a choice that you make instead of like be needed. Like if I'm like, I have the cure for a disease in my finger. <laughs> Never mind. No, I was gonna say, I was gonna say more. I was gonna be like, I'll inject it into you, but you need me. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> you, I'll inject it into you, but now you need me. That's ter- that's okay. That's terrible. Uh, I would rather be wanted. It's really be needed? I'd rather be wanted, because then it's, a, it's, it's, it's like a choice. It's like they made a decision like, I want you in my life. I don't. I'm not f needed is kind of like I feel like that's forced, right? I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just my perception. Everything is perception, right? Uh, would you rather find a book about everything, find a book about everything about the past, so a history book, or find a book about everything about the future? Wouldn't I want to know the future? Isn't that better to know? Or is it better? Here's the thing: some people don't want to know the future. I I always want. I'm like I want to know what's gonna happen next. That's why I can be prepared for all the terrible things. <laughs> It's a terrible way to look at it. I can be prepared for all the terrible things that are gonna happen next. It's like, I already know what happened in the past. I've taken history class. I know, right? I know all that stuff. I would be interested to know about the future. Especially certain stock market <laughs> things. Yes, I would definitely, I would be like insider information. I have a magical book, guys. They'd be like, they would throw the case at a coin. They'd be like, okay, we were gonna get for insider trading, but you, you, you magical book, you, that's not gonna hold up in a court of law. We're just gonna throw this case out. Let me see that book, though. I really, I I'm kind of interested about that book. Uh, okay, would you rather be a capitalist or be a communist? So be American or be, well, there's. There's, there's some, you know what, there's some like half communist countries and half not and I don't want to, whatever. I guess I'm American, so yeah, I kind of figured that was going to be, uh, and assuming you don't live under a dangerous government, no need to, also I would rather be a capitalist anyway. I don't know, okay, I'm going to get into politics. Hey guys, this is a great time to get into politics. I like when I work for something and I reap the rewards instead of being like, give me this for free. I'm not, I know some people are like that. Some people are like, what can I get for free? What can I get for free? I always like to be like, I, I want that thing, but I want to work for it. I think maybe that's just the way I was raised. Um, but yeah, anyway, I like to work for things. Maybe it's just me. Would you rather be married to someone that doesn't love you? Oh, great. Fantastic. Be married to someone that you don't, <laughs> that you don't love. That doesn't love you or that you don't love you. Well, just because you... I, th I feel like I would rather have this, but I don't know why. Why would I Why would I pick that? Why do you guys think I would pick that? I don't know why I would pick that. It feels like the right choice, but... Be married to someone that you don't love. Maybe they take care of the kids and stuff. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a good uh, Maybe it's a good option. Or be married to someone that does. I, I, I feel like I wouldn't want to, like... Uh, Makes a be be like, oh, you're stuck with me, but you don't love me. I like feel bad the whole time, right? Uh, anyway, and you know me, I'm cold heart anyway. So this is like, <laughs> either way, that's bad. That's bound to happen, isn't it? Ah, <sighs> would you? <laughs> such a terrible thing to say. Would you rather be malnourished or be obese? Malnourished. 
I don't know. Malnourished. Mal Listen, the, if you go to a doctor's office, they could they could say anything is mal. They'd be like, you eat just Snickers bars all the time. You could be like normal weight and be like malnourished because you're like you don't eat enough vegetables. You're malnourished. You drink only soda for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't know. I, I'm just that's a friend of mine, not me. I don't know who eats like all like candy bars and protein bars and soda all the time. That's not that's not, I'm not speaking for me. I'm I'm just saying my friend, my friend um Frank Topules, uh, he is the one that's malnourished. You can be malnourished and like perfectly like I guess average weight, but just be malnourished cuz not enough vegetables, right? I I feel like I would go for that. But Anyway, what's next? What's the next horrible question you're gonna give me, Internet? <laughs> Would you rather have high motor function but very poor senses, or have superb senses but low functioning motor skills? Control over, okay, motor functions. There's a little blurb at the bottom. Control over one's physical body, senses, touch, taste, sound, sight, and uh, any other senses remain intact, such as temperature, regulation of pain, among others. I mean, I guess I would I would assume that that would be that anyway, but. High motor functions, very poor senses. I think that there, there would be a benefit to having poor senses, right? I feel like if you are in a stinky environment, you're like, oh, I can deal with this stinky environment. I have poor senses. I don't smell all the stinkiness that much, right? Or if you're like, you're like, sometimes on a diet, it's hard because you're like, oh, there's all these things that I don't want to put in my mouth. Phrasing. Uh <laughs> There's all these things I want to put in my mouth, but I shouldn't do it. And then if you have poor senses, like your t your t sense of taste is different, then you're like, oh, I'm not really that tempted. It'd be like easier to stay on diets or whatever. So I feel like high motor function, especially for my for my job, I'd be super uh, super pro gamer. Yeah, that's what I would go for. That's like that's that's a very preference. Uh, <laughs> that's a very preferential. It's like. Every one of these, Bago, that's what the, would you rather, that's the whole game. That's the whole game. Excuse me. Would you rather live in ancient, I don't know why I'm burping so much, guys. I have no idea. It's weird. Like, do you know, I, I, I can't even imagine why. Mm. Would you rather live in ancient Greece or ancient Greece, ancient Greece. There's a lot of philosophers and they're like, planets. And then ancient Rome is like, Swords. I'm gonna go with Greece then. I was gonna. Th I was thinking Rome, right? I was thinking Rome at first. And then I'm like, eh, planets though. <laughs> planets. I gotta say, planets are pretty cool. Yeah, more people like planets than swords. Swords are cool too. I'm just saying. I don't know. I would have to think. You know what? Now I kind of want to read some history books. Where's my magical history? Oh, I didn't choose. I didn't choose that book. Oh my god! If I would have chose the magical history book, I could have answered this one more uh, reasonably. Would you rather have- No! Oh, God! You cannot get dentures. They would not be forcibly removed. You would just never have them to, to begin with. No tongue or no teeth. I don't- Neither of those! What? Wow. That's weird. I don't want to do any of these. I hate both of these. I mean, obviously, but... I don't know, man. I don't know, that's a weird question. I, 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 like none of those seem acceptable. Anyway, would you rather be able to fly or be able to breathe under, I don't care about breathing underwater, let me fly. <laughs> yeah, no one is like, 28% of people are like, oh, I love scuba diving. This is great, I'm like, I wanna fly. I feel like I have this terrible uh, fear of heights. Justified, cause some traumatic experiences, right? Or maybe not justified, who knows. But uh, I, heights, like, freak me out. Like, even, like, hotel rooms and stuff like that freaks me out. It's a, it's a, it's like when it's like a drop completely, if it's like a, a mountain with trees, like a gradual thing, totally fine, no fear at all. If it's like a just drop down where if you, like, one foot over the edge and you're dead, uh, that scares me. Saying it out loud, I feel like that's a justified fear. But uh, yeah, I feel like if you're able to fly, you wouldn't have that same fear. Because you'd just be conditioned to, oh, I can just fly, it's fine. And then over time, you'd gradually stop being afraid of it. And I, would, I, I don't like having being afraid of anything, so I really like, uh, I especially like that. Even without the flying part, I just like to get over the fear. 
seems like it'd be great, right? Uh, would you rather vacation in New York City or vacation in Tokyo? I already know what New York is like. <laughs> right nowadays, New York, not, not too great. Anyway, Tokyo, I would love to go to Tokyo because I've already been to New York. So I, I was born in New York. Uh, so I've already been there plenty of times. I already know what it's like. It's fun. Yeah. But I mean, it's based on just like, where have you already, maybe you've already been to one or the other. Would you rather be stung by 20 bees in random locations or have each shin kicked hard 10 times? Stung by 20 bees in random, I don't remember what bees things are like. Shin kicked hard, I don't remember what shin kicks are like. Hard with feet or hard with like steel toe boots or cleats? Oh! I'm gonna assume just feet. I'm gonna assume just feet. Uh, I think we'll go with this. I've had that happen plenty of times, so. Oh, I've been stung by bees plenty of times, too. Can I just do both of these and keep my tongue in my teeth? How about that? How about that, would you rather? I think, I think we go with that one, right? I don't think we can pick and choose. Uh, would you rather die in a zombie apocalypse or die in a nuclear war? A nuclear war or a zombie apocalypse? Both would be relatively swift. Nuclear war, that seems like it'd be less painful. Either way, even if it's uh, relatively swift, I don't want my brain eaten as I'm dying and to be like, I'm getting eaten by my brains. Not eaten by my... <laughs> you know what I meant! My brain's eaten by zombies. Why do they even like brains? I don't even know why they like brains. Why is that the thing that they go for? Like, there's so many more juicy parts of the human body. <laughs> Where am I going with this? There's so many more juicy, tasty parts of the human body. Let me make a list for you. No. Um, yeah, I just feel like this would be less crazy scary. Right? That's just me. Would you... No! We've already answered that. Why do you make me answer that again? They're like, you answered wrong. Oh, God. Would you rather be a male police officer with a high-pitched voice or be a male police officer with the appearance of an eight-year-old boy? What? I feel like there's no good answer to this question. We're gonna skip this one. I feel like any way we go down this road, it's not good. We're gonna we're just gonna skip that one. Uh, would you rather have to smile every waking hour? Oh, skipping, you know, you know it's oh, smile every waking hour or ha so be a YouTuber. Uh, have to laugh loudly every thirty minutes. Laugh. Smile. I would rather smile. You know how many friends you're gonna have if you're just like go through all of life smiling? I don't smile. I don't smile when I leave the house. When I leave the house, I'm like, I have resting bitch face. That's what. That's how everyone's, everyone's like, no, get away from me. Which is good in 2020. That's that's really good. Good to have resting bitch face. I'm just saying, if you guys want tutorials on it, uh, I would be I would be happy. I would be happy. Would you rather only speak in haiku or only speak in song lyrics? I feel like haiku's better, right? Make that work. Song lyrics. You have to have the things you're gonna have to rhyme. I don't want to rhyme everything that I'm saying. Would rather have a lover who only speaks on Mondays, or have a lover that only speaks in pig Latin? You're saying you're saying that my lover could only speak in gibberish nonsense with pig Latin, and it's all the time gibberish nonsense, or one that only speaks on Mondays, which means. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Ah, <sighs> no arguments, no complaints, no anything. I will be, let's go Mondays. Let's go Mondays. Oh, hell yeah. 74%, 74% of, of <laughs> oh my God. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to hell, aren't I? Would you rather have a one night stand or have a friend with benefits? Friend with benefits sounds better than a one night stand, right? Yeah, everyone agrees. Nobody wants one night stands anymore. Everyone's like, no, I want to be able to call them like every Monday. <laughs> no, wait, not every Monday. Not every Monday. Uh, the other days, not Mondays. Uh, would you rather have no fingers or no ears? <sighs> no fingers. That would be, I feel like you get away better with no ears, weirdly enough. But it would still be, it would still suck. Either way, it would still suck. 
I'm gonna go with no ears just seems like the what I should be picking because I can't no fingers How am I gonna farm runes man? How am I gonna farm runes if I have no fingers? Oh man, I'm gonna have to go with this, but man, I, I would miss I would miss music. Oh Man, that's like, I would have to like it's like I don't know stick a Bluetooth speaker on my butt or something like that I'd be I have to listen to music from the inside I'd be like oh this is my jam. Oh Oh, too much metal! <laughs> too much metal! Oh, it's too, <laughs> too much metal, now I have diarrhea. Oh, no. Uh, I, I would get that music in me, so... <laughs> this is an awful lot of butt jokes today. Uh, would you rather only eat reheated leftovers for the rest of your life, or pay to eat out restaurants for every meal for the rest of your life? Do you get extra money? Is that is that the situation? Pay to eat out of restaurants for every meal for the rest of your life. I mean, that would be expensive, but you, they do have a bigger. I get. I assume that your uh, your budget is the same, right? Like you don't make any more money. I would eat reheated leftovers. Yeah, cause that gets expensive. You know how much it, it costs to eat at restaurants every day? It costs a lot of. You know how much it costs. I don't have to tell you. You know how much it costs. It's like ridiculous. It's like. That's all the money, you, like, if depending on the restaurant, that's, like, all the money you make in a day. If you eat every meal at restaurants. Or you can just eat one meal a day. That also works. Would you rather lose both your arms or lose both your... Oh, my God. Why? Uh, I guess I'll do this. I can't imagine. Yeah. I, it both ways would suck, but then I would just leave the house even less. Right? I would have reasons. I'd be like, I can't leave the house because... Uh, I mean, you still could. You still could, but would you rather be stuck on the moon or be stuck on the bottom of the ocean? You will survive there as long as you like, but eventually die there. Stuck on the moon or the bottom of the ocean? I don't want those. I hate the ocean, man. <laughs> Said like I feel like that's a weird thing to say. Like, who hates the ocean? I hate the ocean. Screw the ocean. Give me the moon. Yeah. Thank you. Thank. You. Good. Maybe I'm not that weird. Would rather live in isolation? Done. <laughs> Face your biggest fear. Oh, I didn't even read the second one. I don't know. Uh, I just live in isolation. Why not? I'm so. I, maybe I have problems. Maybe just seek therapy. Would you rather teach Spanish or teach math? Well, I don't know Spanish, so uh, I'm gonna go with the one that I do know. I guess that's just based on what you know, right? Uh, for the rest of your life, would you rather eat what you find in a dump? Mm, or eat sea life from the bottom of the sea. Why does it have to be ocean? Uh, why would you want to eat what you find in a dump? Only the creepiest stuff at the bottom of the sea either would be brought to your home and be... F oh, either would be brought to your home and be free. The creepiest stuff at the bottom of the sea, like eels? Yeah, I'll eat eels. I don't care. Why would I want to eat d dumpster food? I don't want to eat dumpster food. Well, it's not even dumpster food. It's dump. So, this is how the chain of command works. It's... Restaurant, throw it away in the trash, right? So you got the restaurant, you got the trash, then it goes in the dumpster, and then it goes to the dump. So it's old, 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 old. It's trash, 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 trash. It's gone through several la- You know how dumps work. I don't really have, I just have to tell you how dumps work. You know how these things work. Uh, yeah. That's just, it's, it would be all rancid and all old. Sea life from the bottom of the sea, like, you find some weird stuff that's actually good. I think that uh, people don't realize there's some, some good stuff there. If you traveled to England recently, would you rather attend the royal wedding uh, or attend the Olympic Games? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I, send, me, send me to a, a little tea house and I'll drink tea. I don't care about either of these. I want to I go visit England. I want to be like, give me some tea and cookies. And then I'll travel back. I'll go back home. That's all I want to see. I don't need to do any of these. Uh, I guess we'll go to uh, Olympics. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I, w I want a third one. That's just eat tea and cookies. Uh, would you rather adopt Pusheen or Nyan Cat? I like Nyan Cat. He's on my he's on my island, so I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go with Nyan Cat, right? Would you rather be a centaur? Asking the good questions. Centaur or a mermaid or mermaid? Uh, F the ocean. I don't like the ocean. Uh, so we'll go, we'll go with centaur. Man, now I want to be a centaur. Ugh, why can't I be a centaur? Wait a minute. This, this is 2020. There's a lot of things going on. There's a special, special surgeries going on in, uh, 
like California, also South America. I feel like they probably have Centaur. We could probably make something work. I could probably get a Centaur change operation. <laughs> Would you rather have a monster truck or a chariot with horses? Well, if I'm a centaur, I, I don't... Listen, this just seems cooler. I don't know why. I don't know. I'm going to go with that, but I no idea. No idea why I'm picking that. Uh, would you rather attempt to survive a computer uprising like Terminator? Yeah, that seems like fun. Except they would know my search history. That doesn't seem like fun anymore. Attempt to survive a zombie outbreak. Well, computer uprising, this is also the Matrix. Would you rather live in the- I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go with Matrix more than Terminator, right? Uh, would you rather attempt to survive a zombie outbreak like Dawn of the Dead? I'm gonna go with- uh, this one seems more fun. I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uh, almost alone on that one. Uh, would you rather fight in the Civil War or fight in the Revolutionary War? I like this one better. This one... A little stickiness there. Uh, fight in the Revolutionary War. I feel like I am a revolution- I want to be a revolutionary, right? I want to do- I would be like, I'm just- No, I'm not- that, That's the Civil War! Um, what is- What is the revolu- I mean, I know what the Revolutionary War is. I'm not asking what's the Revolutionary War. What was the term? It wasn't seceding, it was the- Is it still called seceding? Right? You must have an active role, no drummers. I feel like if I was gonna die in anything, that would be a cool way to, to die. Like, no, I don't want England depressing me. Don't make me go to your Olympics or your royal weddings. I want tea and cookies. I want tea and cookies. That's what I'm saying. Revolutionary War, let's go there. Oh, God, no, no, no. This is 2020, I'm not answering this question. Can we not have this, like, it's just all day. If you, like, go, if any, go on the internet anywhere and it's, Either of those. Anyone that you Google is one of those. Is oh god, can we not do that? <laughs> can we we're trying to have a fun video! We're just trying to try to tell people who I wanna murder! God, why do you gotta make it so nasty? Either IO be what would you rather be one of King Arthur's knights of the It's right, I just like these videos I wanna get away from like I mean murder, we're just talking jokes, right? Oh god, 2020. We want a King Arthur's Knights of the Round Table, or one of Robin Hood's Merry Men. <sighs> I feel like this one, right? I feel like this one, but this one. That well, I'll be. I want to. I want to be merry. Whatever, man. Would you rather sound like? <laughs> I don't want to sound like Miss Piggy. I'm saying nobody wants to sound like Miss Piggy. Okay. Uh, would you rather cut off six of your own fingers and one foot? Why six fingers and one foot? Or bring Hitler back to life as a killer invincible robot zombie? What? Uh, why six fingers? Why six of your own fingers? Why, why is it not five fingers and one foot? Like an even, like one foot, five fingers. No, it's six fingers, one foot. How would you, so that's three on each, so you, you, you could walk around, you could have, <laughs> you have one hand, you, you have four on one hand, or you would have two on, what is this? Oh God. You're welcome, you're welcome for me not bringing, 49% people would bring Hitler back as a killer invincible robot zombie. 49% of people. Okay, 49. 49, they were like, I'm not gonna take one for the team. I want my foot and all my fingers. Thank you very much. Oh my God, would you rather lick the floor at a curb or lick a toilet seat at Walmart? I mean, not a, not a curb, club. Lick the floor at a club. Uh, honestly, I feel like the floor at a club would be way dirtier. Cause you know they probably don't wash that like ever, right? And then there's like, Shoes from everyone all the time. Toilet seat at Walmart. I don't know. I feel like there's like a little old lady like every 30 minutes like, I'm going to clean the seat off the toilet. The toilet seat is going to be not. I feel like they actually clean, like as much as we, <laughs> as much as we crap on them. No pun intended. No pun intended. But we just crap on Walmart. I feel like 
Uh, I feel like they would actually have cleaner toilet seats by a significant amount than the Florida club. And it never said what time of day, also. It doesn't say, lick a toilet seat at Walmart during the busiest time of day when there's a line out the door and no one can go in and clean those things. It's like, it could be like, 11.01 and the, the lady just came in and cleaned it. Like, at 11 o'clock p.m., whatever. Or whatever time they cleaned it, 3 o'clock in the morning when it's like, nobody's has, butt has been on it, right? It's just a toilet seat. Or like the Florida club. I don't know, I, I just feel like this Walmart thing would be way... Really? Really? This is... I feel, I feel like, I feel like it really people didn't think that one through. Would you rather be famous? Okay, one more question after this, we'll call it a day. One more question. Would you rather be famous in this lifetime or go down in the history books? For what? <laughs> For what? Good, bad, famous, or historical? Oh, I wouldn't. I, I I would want to enjoy it, right? As long as it's watch the sign. Watch the Seinfeld. This is a good question, though. How do you choose between Seinfeld and The Simpsons? Oh. What well, isn't the? Aren't they both like the longest running uh, or most popular, or whatever? One is the most popular sitcom of all time, and then the other one is the most popular cartoon uh, series of all time. I believe so. How do you choose? Because I mean, I love, I love Family Guy. I know Family Guy's not The Simpsons. I love Family Guy so much more than The Simpsons, though. South Park, so much more than The Simpsons. I didn't really go through and watch all The Simpsons, though. I watched, like, the first season, and then that's it. And, like, a couple, couple episodes, and, like, a year ago or whatever. Not really a whole lot of The Simpsons. Uh, Seinfeld's good though. I'm gonna go with The Simpsons because I already watched all of Seinfeld, so maybe it's news to. Wow! Clearly, I chose the right one, right? Clearly, I chose the right one. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got a laugh. That's basically all these videos are for is just to make people laugh and be like, facepalm, be like, no, don't do that. You chose wrong. You didn't think through the whole situation. What you did, you should have killed, made Hitler come back as an invincible robot, and then you should have uh, thrown the, made him lick the Walmart toilet seat, and then that would have killed him, even though he's invincible. Like, oh, why didn't I think of that? Oh, I should have done, I should have done that one. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you as always in the next one.